Hi everybody, it's Candy. Thank you for joining me today. So I have a lot to talk about. I've had a lot of questions about the upcoming January 15th Juice and Smoothie Cleanse. And I just wanted to start kind of, you know, talking about some of those questions, okay? A big question has been, um, you know, what are we going to do? How are we gonna do this? What do we juice? What are the recipes? How do you do smoothies? And first of all, I really want to invite you all to participate in your healing journey or your weight loss journey. I know some of you are looking at this as a way to lose some extra pounds. Um, I'd like to really ask that you focus more on the healing aspect because when you focus on the healing aspect of your, you know, healing your body, then the weight naturally does come off because um, I'm also calling this the love your body um, cleanse. <laughs> it, this is, this is the love your body cleanse. This is not a weight loss, um, you know, situation. It's not a weight loss gimmick. It's not a, there are no products to be sold here. This is, this is a time to just love yourself and to love your body and to love the process of getting healthy and cleansing and what is what all is entailed with that because there's so much involved with that when we're cleansing our bodies a lot of times we think it's just that we're you know taking in those healthy foods and that we're going to you know feel good because we're going to be you know losing weight and we're going to be feeling lighter and it's just you know we get really focused on the body aspect of it but really a cleanse is about body, mind, and spirit. So it's not only cleansing your body, it's going to cleanse your mind. You may get a little brain fog throughout this, and that is only because we are stirring up toxins that have been there for a long time. Many of us haven't even done cleansing before, and so this is going to be a shock to your system. And so when you get a shock to your system, you know, yeah, brain fog, um, you, you can get fatigued, um, you can have skin breakouts uh, because of our kidneys not functioning uh, so well. Um, you know, there's gonna be some detox symptoms that happen, especially for those of you who are new, and this is my channel, Raw for Beginners. So, you know, we're all at different levels here. If you're just starting out, those types of things can be expected. So I really want to just, uh, well, first of all, I guess I'll interject here and just say, if you could grab an enema bag, you know, buy one online or, you know, go into, uh, just don't buy a Walmart one because they're, they are inexpensive. And I understand a lot of you are on a budget, but they do not work well. I mean, they don't work. I would say they don't even work at all. It's a waste of five dollars yeah there are five dollars but it's just like throwing your money away so I highly encourage you especially if you're brand new and, and really at all levels to be doing um, your best to get your hands on an enema bag and to learn how to do that I will post a video link to uh, Marcus Rothkrantz he has a really nice video explaining how to do enemas and uh, I don't have time to do an enema <laughs> Uh, demonstration today so we'll save that for him uh, so anyways so the mind the body and the spirit you will notice a sense of calmness well you know you might get a little bit of anxiety through this depending on how long you go again that's the toxins that will be kicked up because of all the uh, live food that you're going to be putting in your body this is believe it or not this is a 100 percent raw food cleanse i mean this is just so magnificent and i applaud you if you are even considering this this is big and you know take it take it to where you want to go if you want to just try one day try one day i encourage you to try three days if you are brand new and you think this is a little bit you know over the top and you're thinking well i'll just test the waters and do one day you know what, just challenge yourself. Go three days, you can do it, you really can. It sounds overwhelming, but if you take it one day at a time, 
you'll see you can do it and then you will be have you will have something really you you'll feel so proud of yourself and your body will really thank you so anyway so your spirit oh my gosh what it does for the spirit it really lifts your spirits i mean think about it if you are taking a toxic load off of your entire body it's taking the toxic load off of your mind um, your spirit feels amazing you know you start to get in tune with mother nature because you're putting natural foods in your body your body will start to crave those foods and the more you put in the more days you can really put together then you know you'll start to see that some of those other foods well they call them foods but they're packaged garbage really uh, some of those packaged garbage garbage foods that we put in our body the ramen soups and the macaroni and cheese and the aunt jemima pancakes those are not food that's not food it's not it, you know this is food this is a coconut a young thai coconut this you can have on your cleanse believe it or not what you do is you go online and find out how to open these they're very it's it's easy once you know the technique and very quickly you you just you're going to cut off the top and then you're going to i use scissors and i poke a hole and you'll see and you and the top pops off really easily like in a complete circle it's really amazing how god made these so you're going to drink the water and you can drink as much coconut water as you want and then with the coconut meat you can put it in your smoothies yes it, it just oh it's so delicious if you have not had a young thai coconut i went I went a long time being uh, vegan and raw vegan, like without having any of these because I didn't know how to open them. Then I thought, well, let me just look up a video. And oh my gosh, I wish I would have done that a long time ago. But anyway, so, okay. So what I invite you all to do, oh, I have these cards. They are, they are angel cards. And so before doing this video, I asked my angels, I said, will you please give me three cards and let me know, um, you know, well, just to kind of give me an idea of what to expect with this whole group cleanse that we're doing. And my, my very first card was, I hope you can see that, but it's purification. Okay, purification. And then my next card was infinity. Okay, and infinite. And then my next card, I mean, I, I mean, there's, where's the, where are the cards? There's 88. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> so anyway, the third card was wholeness. Okay, so, you know, this is a holistic way to have purification and purification is ongoing. You know, we have built up so many years of toxins in our body. It is time for us. I don't know what age you are, but I wish I would, I'm 52. I wish I would have started this a long time ago. So infinite uh, wholeness and purification. I mean, wow, what, how amazing is that? So uh, there's 88 of these cards and those are the three cards. Like, okay, I'm just going to pick a card just to show you. Oh, rejuvenation. <laughs> oh, I love that one. That's so cool. Rejuvenation. Wow. So I'm just going to say thank you, angels. They are going to help us to do this along the way for us to rejuvenate. I mean, wow, what a beautiful message. Um, and can we all use a little rejuvenation? <laughs> 2017 was amazing, but wow, 2018 is going to really be, this is the year. And you know, in numerology, it's a year two. Two plus zero plus one plus eight is a two. It's an 11 two. It's a master number. It is a time for people working together and helping each other. So that's, you know, it's just, perfect timing for us to do this cleanse. And I'm so glad you're going to join me with this. Um, I wanted to give you some tips. Okay, so people have been, been asking about juices and, 
what 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 can you do to prepare for juicing? First of all, you need a juicer. The easiest way to do this is to go to a thrift store. They are people buy juicers all the time. I am a big thrift store shopper, and I see juicers in thrift stores all the time, and they're usually only like five dollars. So it is really the way to go. And uh, so. You know, or you can get a new one. It just depends. But I just, I don't want there to be any, um, I don't, I can't afford this and all that kind of stuff. Because listen, your body is the most important thing in your life. Without your body, where are you going to live? Think about that for a minute. Where are you going to live? And do you want to live in a, do you want to live in a clean house and a clean environment? Or do you want to live in a toxic environment? I mean, it's really our choice. It's really as simple as that, you know. And I also uh, would like to invite you all to clean your space. It's a new year. It's a time for new beginnings. And, um, you know, it's called feng shui. It's an ancient Chinese practice. And basically all feng shui is, is keeping a clean an organized environment. So do whatever you can, even if you're just renting a room somewhere, clean your room, get in there, organize, hang all your clothes up, fold all your clothes in your drawers, make your bed every day as a practice. You will feel so much better and just really get your environment cleaned up because your environment on the outside is a reflection on the environment on the inside and vice versa. So. Okay, so the juicing, let's see, we've got, I've got my list over here, so I'm going to be looking over here. <laughs> so we've got carrots. Okay, carrots, you can go to your grocery store and ask them if they have bulk carrots. A lot of times they will take the misfit carrots and put them in a big bag for people and you can buy them so cheaply. It's really, so if you, um, if your grocery store doesn't do that already, I know Winco not everybody has a Winco, but they sell this huge 25-pound bag of carrots for $6.99. It's amazing. So if you don't have that in a grocery store near you, ask the, uh, the produce uh, manager if he can uh, put something together or if she can. Okay, so beets. Beets are great. Oh, my gosh. So carrots, we all know, are good for your eyesight. You know, the beta carotene, um, we all know that. So beets are good for your heart. They're good for the blood. Um, they're good for the liver. Oh my gosh, they cleanse the liver like, well, you know, there's, a, there's some other things that cleanse the liver as well, but beets are really, really, um, now with your beets, don't juice beets just by themselves, okay? Because they're so detoxifying and they will knock you on your feet. I did that one time knowing what beets could do for my liver and I, I, I just, uh, I got so dizzy and I could barely stand up. I got um, na nauseated and uh, so when you're doing beets, you always want to add just some celery just to kind of tone it down and only do about a, a cup. And that's with celery in there, okay? Just to get started until you get to know your own body and then you can start adding a little bit more. Okay, so celery is great celery is good for the bones so anybody who's having any issues with your bones celery is is a powerhouse for that okay and cilantro and parsley is another thing to add to your juices they have um they detoxify heavy metals aluminum um you know gosh um what is it the mercury you know they both of those detoxify heavy metals and we all have them in our bodies especially if we especially if we have been using like aluminum deodorants and you know have um, ma amalgam fillings in our mouths okay we all need cilantro and parsley so so remember those on your grocery list and um, cucumbers cucumbers are um, they are great for strengthening the adrenals and the kidneys and flushing out neurotoxins uh, from the bloodstream. So cucumbers, you know, I a couple months back, I was really getting a calling 
you know, sometimes like once you start to really go fully raw, you start to really get like this download, like you need cucumbers or, or you need oranges or whatever it is. And so cucumbers was my thing. I'm getting radishes now. And, you know, I got to look up radishes because I'm not exactly sure what they're good for. Uh, so I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, so sweet potatoes are another thing that you can juice, and they're so good for your liver. So um, let's see, what else could we, kale, you know, kale is, <clears throat> is uh, high, kale and spinach are both high in protein and calcium, okay, and um, they also protect, they have alkaloids uh, that protect against um, viruses and uh, Okay, so that's like a lot of vegetables there. Oh, dandelion greens. Dandelion greens, oh my gosh, they're so inexpensive. They're so inexpensive. I mean, you can get a huge thing of dandelion greens for like less than a dollar, like a huge. Um, don't pick the ones in your yard because most of our yards have been sprayed over the years and it's just not really a good idea, not unless you've been on this journey a while and you've been keeping your yard nice and chemical free, then you could. Um, but anyway, this is what dandelion greens look like. They're so, oh my gosh, they're so good for you. And they detoxify the liver um, big time, just like the beets. So you might wanna get some dandelion greens and uh, put them in your smoothies. Okay, speaking of smoothies, we're gonna move on, or you can, you can juice them you know, or put them in your smoothies. Um, so, okay, we're gonna move on to smoothies. Okay, you know, my basic smoothie recipe is about a cup and a half to two cups of water, and then I put dates to sweeten. You don't need anything else to sweeten. Dates are, are great, okay? So, um, or you don't even need dates, honestly, but you know what, I'm a sweet, I used to have a sugar addiction. I used to have to eat candy every single day, and uh, I don't anymore because um, all, because of all the fruits I've been eating. So it does happen, believe me. I, I really did used to eat candy every single day. I could not go one day without eating candy, and I ate a lot of candy. And uh, anyway, so these dates, um, let's see. These are the uh, deglet. These are the Deglet dates, and you can get these from Costco. It's a big container, and it's $8 for this big, huge container full of dates. And you only need about, I put about four dates in mine, and they're already pitted, so you don't even have to worry about taking the pits out, which is nice. It makes it really quick in, in the morning when you're making your smoothie. And um, let's see, so, hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to also, so let's see the water, the dates. Now here's a tip. If you are just starting and you feel like uh, a fruit smoothie or a fruits and green smoothie is not cutting it in the morning, you might want to get this um, product here. It's called Garden of Life uh, Raw Meal. And uh, this is so full of, uh, well, it's all live. It's all live enzymes. And um, there are uh, leg legumes and, um, and grains. A lot of people don't do grains, but you know what? It's all live, it's all raw. And if you need something to like help you to feel um, full, that's the product. Okay, I, and don't get it from, don't buy it from the store because it's really expensive. This is all raw and look at how big this container is. This is expensive. Well, you know what I mean? I mean, expensive is like to some people is not expensive to another. So, you know what? I really, I never even use that word. I don't know why I just did. Hmm, interesting. So anyway, um, I buy it online from Golden Apple Organics. They have like the best price. You will save over $20. And sometimes they have sales and I'll put a link below, but look up, you know, just type in raw organic meal by Garden of Life, best price, and look for the best price. Because you know what? I've been ordering from them for a while now, so they might not even be the best price right now. So 
So do your own research on that, okay? All right, so, so let's see. Now on Sundays, oh, let's see the rest of the recipe for, I'm, I'm just getting ahead of myself. So the rest of the recipe uh, for the smoothie, what I do is, so it's the water, it's the dates, it, I, I put the uh, raw organic meal, and uh, oh, and they have that in chocolate, by the way, raw cacao, it's amazing, okay? Uh, let's see, and then bananas, I put frozen bananas, and that's the basis of the basic of my smoothie. Okay, so when you start from there, see the frozen bananas give it like the ice cream texture in your smoothie that I love. So I usually put about two, sometimes three bananas, frozen bananas. And, um, you know, especially if you don't have a Vitamix, you want to um, break the bananas or cut them and put them in smaller pieces in your blender so that it blends up pretty good. They don't have to be frozen bananas. Not everybody's into that ice cream texture, but I am. So, and then on top of that, you put whatever you want. You can put uh, raspberries, strawberries, mangoes, blueberries, get creative, you know, just have fun with this. Um, so anyway, let's see. Um, oh, and right now, grapefruits are, you know, they're in season and, you know, citrus, lemons, lemon, so detoxifying. Yes, it's acidic, but once you ingest it, it, it turns alkaline and it is an astringent. It will clean you out big time. So lemon water every morning is a really great idea. Okay. And um, so oranges, you know, these little, um, these are called halos and they have what's called the cuties, but the halos I have found are, are sweeter this year than the cuties, because normally I'd go for the cuties. Um, you know, so, okay, so with this cleanse, and I'm gonna wrap it up here real quick, um, we are going to be doing every Sunday, fruits and salads are allowed. Oh, isn't that cool? Um, that was my friend's idea and I thought it was super. You don't have to. You can keep smooth doing your smoothies and your juices, but you have the option. If you want to do some fruits and, uh, and some salads on Sundays and uh, just have fun with it, you know, get creative, just, um, yeah. Okay, some other juices you can do. They don't all have to, they don't have to be all veggies. I, I mentioned veggies, but you can gosh, apples can go, you know, apple juice, pineapple juice. You know, just um, look up some recipes online and just really um, you know, really, you know, put yourself into this this whole mindset of doing this. Like like create a bubble around yourself and just say, "I'm I am doing this for myself this month. This is going to be a space and time where I have a group of people for 40 days that I can ask questions and share recipes and, you know, just like gain so much knowledge and, um, and pamper myself. So, okay. Oh, one last thing. Vision boards. We're doing ours tomorrow. Um, my family is collectively coming together. We're going to do our 2018 vision boards. I want to just really encourage you to do one. You can go to libraries and get uh, magazines for 10 cents a piece. That's what they do here in Arizona. And, um, you know, ask your friends for their magazines. All you need are magazines, a poster board, and some glue, uh, some glue sticks. That's it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, and I invite you to do that because it's so important. And um, yeah, so so my vision board here, I will I will have a new one. I love that one so much. I'll probably put it over on the side. And that one actually is my brother Don's um, that I've kept up there. I'm kind of holding the vision for him to keep, um, you know. I don't, you never know what can happen. He did fall off, you know, the wagon as some of you know, but I'm holding the vision for him that he can, um, he seems to be okay and, and, and in good spirits, even though he has just had his leg amputated. Uh, my brother Bryce just had him on the phone a little while ago and um, he seemed to be in good spirits. 
So I'm just going to keep praying for him and visualizing him healthy and happy in whatever way that may look like. So thank you all for joining me today. I love you all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I would love to answer them for you. If I can, I will do my best to answer them for you. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on this journey too. I've been doing this for four and a half years now, and I'm learning along the way. And if ever there's a question I can't answer, I will do my best to point you in the right direction. And um, I love you all so much. And oh yes, my friend wanted me to bring up parasite cleanses. If you would like to do a parasite cleanse, you know, you can, which would be very helpful since you're going to be treating your body so well with these with these beautiful, amazing, water-rich foods. You might want to look into doing a parasite cleanse and get some of those parasites out. It's really important because, you know, when you're cleansing, um, you know, you want to get those boogers out of you because they are the ones that are really wanting to be fed and they want to be fed sugar, like, you know, processed sugar. They want to be fed animal, animal parts. I can't even call it foods, animal products, whatever. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> you know, and we don't need that in our bodies. We want a pure, pristine, happy place to live, a happy, comfortable place to call home uh, for the rest of our lives, right? So anyway, love you. Thank you for hanging in there. I know this was a long one. I love you all so much. Bye.